so you guys i want to bring y'all this video on jd davison just because we have a lot of things that we have to talk about such as his career so far and also what he did at the summer league so we all know the summer league is currently being held in las vegas for nba teams and this year has been very interesting by watching the rookies sophomores including g league affiliates compete in front of nba scouts while showcasing their potential so here's the thing I want to focus on JD Davidson for this video mainly because we all know he is currently in the summer league as well playing with the Boston Celtics so if you guys are not informed about his career so far right now he is currently about to enter his second season in the league after being drafted as the 53rd overall pick being selected by the Boston Celtics so once he got drafted last year JD ended up competing in the summer league which led him to receive his first two-way contract with the Boston Celtics and we all know for players under two-way contracts, they are eligible to play up to 50 of a team's 82 regular season games and also are allowed to travel and practice with the team as an inactive player as well, which is exactly on what JD did for his first year in the league. Because he only played a total of 12 games with the Boston Celtics while averaging 5 minutes and only putting up 1 point. So he clearly wasn't getting no playing time due to him being a rookie. That's why he was sent to the G League to play with the main Celtics. And when you look at his G League stats, throughout 44 games and averaging 30 minutes, he was putting up 13 points and 7 assists while shooting 49 field goal percentage. So he was actually playing really well in the G League with the main Celtics because he finished 4th in the NBA G League during the regular season with 339 assists, which ranks 3rd all-time in franchise history. And on top of that, is the second most assists in a single season behind the main player who is Tim Fraser. JD also helped lead his team to their first playoff experience in six years. So once he finished his rookie year with the Celtics, they then decided to call him back up to play for their summer league team once again this year, which he is currently playing in right now. Throughout his first two summer league games during this year has been very interesting for JD because he has already went mainstream and viral twice off of two different incidents. So the first incident took place during his first game against the Miami Heat back on July the 8th. Basically, if y'all don't know on what happened, during the middle of the game, someone realized a brown spot on the back of JD's shorts and they decided to record it and post the video on social media. I honestly don't know how he could even allow that to happen unless he didn't care or maybe he didn't even realize what he did during the game until he saw the video go viral because JD even tweeted out bro in all caps with multiple laughing emojis. So after seeing his tweet, it seems like he didn't realize during the game on what he actually did and it's really funny to me because just think about it. If someone could spot that on national television, then you know someone definitely spotted it being at the actual game. So JD definitely is going out sad for that one because there's no way that should have happened in my opinion. And on top of that, he was wearing green compression pants so the fact that you can still see it through his actual white shorts is wild unless he could have sat on something while he was sitting on a chair. I'm not 100% sure. A lot of people is actually laughing at him and saying he pulled a Paul Pierce after the incident in the wheelchair and we all know Paul Pierce had to address this incident about game one in the 2008 finals multiple times just because of who he is. But for JD, since he is still young and don't have a real big name yet in the league, he don't really have to address it to everyone because people already know the deal. But after JD made that tweet saying bro in all caps with multiple laughing emojis, you could tell that he was feeling the embarrassment including trying to explain himself on Twitter by saying, LOL, it was my tights. If I had to go S, I would have went, as well as responding to two other people about the situation while still typing in caps, basically laughing at himself because he tweeted out twice again by saying, that's what make it funnier. And also, it is funny though looking at it. So he clearly knows on what happened. He just trying to laugh it off with everyone, which is even more funny to me. He honestly should have just kept quiet because there's really no excuse for that unless he sat on something but the good thing about that game is that he still finished with 14 points and 11 assists so the very next day after that game the Celtics then had to play against the Washington Wizards and JD ended up going viral once again by making an insane highlight dunk which the NBA posted on their website and he only finished with four points and nine assists throughout 33 minutes so even though they did lost, the good thing about that game for JD is that the Celtics decided to sign him to another two-way contract. So he now gets to stay with the team for another year to hopefully receive a bigger contract in the future. In my opinion, I really feel like JD Davidson is going to have a really good season next year because he already got a feel of the lead throughout his rookie year, including doing his own thing in the G League. So I'm definitely expecting him to lead the main Celtics to the playoffs once again while bringing up his numbers. And to remind y'all, 
Last year, after he signed his first two-way contract, J.D. confirmed during an interview that the Boston Celtics told him that he has a chance to make the full roster. He also said in quote, They have indicated to me I could get a roster spot. It just come out here, have fun, go do me, and maybe that spot will be yours, maybe not. Whenever my name will be called, I'll be ready. So as you can see, the Celtics definitely have their eyes on J.D., as in watching him develop his game, that's why they decided to invite him back to their summer league team and sign him to another two-way deal. He definitely is on the verge to get an actual contract with them by next summer, and if not by the Celtics, I can see another team picking him up once he become a free agent next year. The thing that I really like about J.D. Davidson's game is that he's extremely athletic with ceiling high potential, being a 6'3 guard. J.D. likes to run the offense as well as running the fast break. When he is coming at you full speed, it's honestly best for you to get out the way because most likely you might be on a poster. So his strong suit is clearly his athleticism, but he does need to improve his jump shot because once he starts to develop a more consistent jumper, that will make him even more effective on the court being a versatile player. And I really feel like that would be a huge difference with his game because once he start making jump shots more consistently, then his stats are definitely going to go up even more, which would give the Celtics or other teams no choice but to put him on a roster. So honestly, the position J.D. Davidson is in right now, he just need to keep doing his things such as finishing strong in the summer league, then once the season starts, ball out in the G League with the main Celtics once again. And since he is now on another two-way contract, hopefully he'll be able to receive more playing time with the Boston Celtics because last year he only averaged five minutes. I definitely want y'all to leave your comments and opinions below on how you feel about this. I just wanted to bring y'all an update on J.D. Davidson's career, as well as talk about his recent unexpected viral moment, which was hilarious. And I just hope he knows a lot of people will not forget about that. They definitely are forever going to keep bringing it up throughout his career. So he might as well just get prepared. I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you press the notification bell. T-Game, we out.